So this is a standard drill press. This is a, one of those three jaw chucks I've gotten in my other video. I've got a uh, XY table that I got for super cheap on eBay. Um, so here I'm gonna show you guys how to switch it out. Okay, so when you pull this thing down, the whole top of this is right in there. So I'm gonna put a screwdriver in there and just bang this thing out. That's it. This is the Morse Taper 2. Uh, you can find, there's a Morse Taper 3, I believe, but uh, just check your um, dimensions. There's, there's a chart online, I've seen it. And here's the new one. This is Morse Taper 2. These are pretty cool. They have uh, the reversing chucks also. But you can fit just about any kind of uh, rotational device in here. And, and it has more mass, so when the thing is spinning, it doesn't get stuck as easy. So this type, like if you have a milling machine, there is a draw bar that comes down and it threads on the import machines, which they pretty much all are. Uh, the original one is metric, but this thing is like a 3 8 or 5 16 SAE. Um, so this is a drill press here. Um, it does not have the draw bar. And so I read somewhere that this stuff is the ticket to lock it down. So I'm going to be doing it that way. Not red. All right. All right. Well, let me try to reset this. Try to add a little force to it. Seat the thing. I'm gonna let that dry and see if that works. All right, let's see if this thing flies off. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I guess you gotta turn it on. Okay, didn't come loose, seems to be doing it. Um, this drill press, for whatever reason, doesn't have the little lock lever. I have to make some like little handle there so I can adjust this thing and make passes, but this is just some aluminum. It's kind of at a pie piece. Just wanted to see if the head would come off or if it was dangerous, but it works good. This is what I did at my home uh, mill, but it had, like I said, it had the draw bar at the top. So I just put that other Loctite stuff in here and it seems to hold. I let it dry overnight. I did this yesterday, and so it seems to be going. There's my XY table. I found this on eBay for like 75 bucks. It's kind of cool. Um, again, it's not going to be like a Bridgeport mill or anything. 
it does wobble around, but I'm not building engines here. It's just once in a while I have to cut a slot or elongate something. But anyway, this is kind of cool. I recommend doing it. Thank you.